So some states like like Texas, I think, is going to have like a sales tax system. And so then so then finally, later on, the, they, they came to the idea of, well, this is kind of unfair that we're allowing some states to get a deduction for state taxes when all states still have to pay for their own stuff. Some states are just be better at it right than others. They seem to be more efficient. So we should be able to uh, to deduct the, the, the sales tax uh, instead of the income tax for those states that have a sales tax that you're paying for. It. Then the question comes up, well, how are you going to deduct the sales tax? Because it's a little bit more difficult to calculate uh, sometimes. And then we have tables and methods that you can use to deduct the sales tax. So this will probably be dependent on the state that you're in. So if you do state taxes for a particular state, if you're in California, you're gonna be doing, most people are gonna be taking this, the, the state tax and not the sales tax because the state tax is going to be, the income tax is gonna be high typically. But if you're in other states, then you might have the sales tax. And again, if you do state, re, if you do returns for multiple states, then that could be a little bit confusing and you wanna make sure that you, you get it straight in terms of how you're gonna, be working that out. So state and local income taxes. So if you uh, don't elect to deduct general sales taxes, include on line 5A, the state and local income taxes listed next. State and local income taxes uh, withheld from your salary during 2023. Now, most people, when they pay their taxes, similar to the federal income taxes, if you have a state tax system, will have withholdings. So places like California, and I believe like New York, for example, mirrored the federal income tax system in part so that they can maximize the tax deductions and subsidize the st <laughs> their state, right? So that, so that means that the tax system is gonna be looking much the same in terms of the withholding system. So the, the, the employer is gonna be required to withhold the money from the wages uh, like with the federal income tax system, and then you'll see them reflected on the W-2. When we think about the deductibility of state taxes, we typically are talking about a cash-based system. We're talking about the state taxes that we paid. For most people, we pay the state taxes through the withholdings, and therefore the data input into the software should be fairly straightforward for most tax returns because the W-2 will have the withholdings, and that will help us to, to calculate the deductibility uh, of the state taxes on a cash-based system. But some people might have a, a estimated tax payments, in which case you got to make sure you put in the estimated tax payments for like a business uh, kind of situation. And again, the sales tax messes everything up because then they're not going to have the withholding system set up and you're going to have to use some other system to calculate the sales tax. So your form W-2 will show these amounts. Forms W-2 DG, 1099G, 1099R, 1099 miscellaneous, and 1099 NEC may also show state and local income taxes withheld. So these are all those income type forms we talked about in the income section. They may not have withholdings. They're less likely to have withholdings than the W-2, except possibly the 1099R for retired individuals but they could have the same kind of withholding. However, don't include on line 5A any withheld taxes you deducted on other forms such as Schedule C, E, uh, or F. So here we come up with the same kind of problem that we saw with the medical type of expenses, meaning the normal kind of th things we can deduct are those things that we use to help generate revenue. If we had to pay certain state taxes as part of our business, then you would think it would at least be a more of a legitimate deduction and therefore would be deducted more legitimate in that it aligns with what you would expect from an income tax system. So it wouldn't be a personal deduction, it would be a business deduction and therefore deducted on like a Schedule C for a sole proprietorship. If it was allowed as a deduction on a Schedule C, you can't also deduct it on the Schedule A because then you would be doubling up on that. We'll see examples of that when we get to say the real estate taxes, for example, where you might use like part of your home for a business, for example.